crumbled within our inner demons. We look through the gray clouds. For hopes of better tomorrows. tenderness, free of thorny ways. How far must we travel with provisions of empty hopes? I didn't want to run into him. I just came to see you and Sarah. Come on. <laughs> so good to see you. Me too. <laughs> Can I get you anything to drink? Oh, Carol. What I want, you ain't got it. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you don't miss wine. Uh, a, glass. Uh, a glass of red wine would be amazing now. I should have asked you to come to my place sometimes. Oh, Roya, you are so bad. <laughs> no wonder Hu Shang doesn't want me to hang out with you. No, but seriously, Carol, you're a smart woman, an educated 21st century Western woman. Why are you doing this? Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. But you don't need to give up your self-respect because of just your loving someone. Who said anything about giving up? I mean, I feel like I've still kept myself. I mean, just because you and Hu Sheng have different beliefs. I'm talking about personal space, who you are. Don't give up that. Don't let your beliefs just go. You know, who you are. It's more complicated than that. I mean, 
Hey, what's going on? Sounds like a pretty serious conversation. Well, well, well. Good morning. Oops, good afternoon. Do you know what time it is, sleepyhead? <laughs> Give me a break. What are you doing here? I thought you were too hip for this house. Sarah, honey, be nice. Just. Oh, you mean like you? You want me to be fake too? That's not what I meant. She's just. I don't care what you meant. You're not my mom. Excuse me. <laughs> She's trying hard. Do you really need to be so cruel? <laughs> Are you here to lecture me too? Because I get enough of that from dad. I'm not here to lecture you. I'm just worried about you. I know how hard it is to be a teenager and live in a house like this. I just want you to talk to me whenever you need me, okay? You're not alone. I would never judge you, okay? I know, I know, don't worry. Shut the fuck up! Russell, this isn't like you! Damn it, Summer, you made a promise. You're not helping me. You're supposed to be helping me. Nobody in the department gets it. Nobody fucking gets it. I thought you were different. I thought you understood what I was trying to do. I can't help it if I'm young and attractive and I have blonde hair and, and blue eyes. The other guys in the department, they think they think I'm some hotshot kid running around playing cops and robbers. I work my ass off. I'm a damn good cop. Like, really? You're really gonna what? make this about you right now? Oh, uh, here we go. And your pretty boy complex? Are you fucking kidding me? God forbid you were a woman in this industry. Wow. The nerve. That, that's not even the point. The point is you had a job to do and you fucked it up big time. The department wants to cut the budget. They want to pull you out of the coffee shop. They want to cut the funding altogether. They don't think that it's worth busting a few uh, kids trafficking drugs. Our time is better spent elsewhere. They don't get it. And neither do you. I thought you got it. But clearly, I was wrong. Listen, stop yelling at me, Russell. Okay? I do get it. No, you don't. I have been you're not, trying. You're not trying. Trust me, I have you been trying. You are not trying. Okay? We, we had a deal. Okay? I helped your brother when he was in prison. And you fucked me! You fucked me big time! What the hell are you talking about? I told you I am trying. 
and I am really grateful for Joey. I really am. But I am doing the best that I know how. And you know what? What? Shame on you for bringing up Joey. God forbid you would do anything nice just for the sake of being nice. You know what? The hell with you. The hell with you and every, everybody who just wants something in return, who always needs something. You know, fuck it. I just, I have had it. I really have had it. Listen, Summer, I... I don't know what to say. I, everything's falling apart. I, I arrested some kid last week uh, for trafficking, and some hot shit lawyer just bailed him out. And, and now, son of a bitch just vanishes. Can't find him. That means that I'm right. Like, there's, there's something going on in this neighborhood. It's not just, just about all this, this drug drug candy du jour. There's, there's something bigger here. It's never just about the kids. And don't pretend that you care about them. You just want to make your big bust so you can move up the ladder quickly and be your hot shot detective. What are you talking about? You don't, you don't know me. You're not, you're not the only one with, with family issues. You don't even... You know what? It doesn't matter. My personal issues are not what's important right now. All right? We're on to something. I can feel it. Look, Summer, I'm... I'm sorry, okay? At least let me give you a ride home. up with the disguise. Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? Sorry. Just not again, please. Okay, Mr. Hotshot. When are we gonna talk? Talk? Talk about what? About us. Okay. Okay. Seriously, not again, sir. <laughs> I'm serious, Tony. I can't take it anymore. I told you from the beginning, I'm not the kind of girl you can just screw around with. Listen, I get it, you're a good girl. I mean, but what do you want from me, a medal? I mean, seriously, for your information, the real, actual good girls don't sleep around with, you know, like the bad boys. Everyone makes mistakes. At least I have feelings for you. Can you say the same? You, you never call to see how I am. You never take me on real dates. All I get is a phone call from a private number. Listen, baby, I'm sorry. I'm really, I, like, I wish I could tell you everything. But I can't. You'd, you'd appreciate it if you knew why I have to try to keep you out of the loop of this. Okay, baby. Baby, listen. Don't baby me. Just tell me how you feel about me. Well? Well, well what? I, Tony, I asked you how you felt about me. Huh? Come on, seriously. You're not asking me, you're interrogating me. Listen. I don't even know what you want from me. I want you to care. I've risked everything for you. 
I gave you the key to my father's warehouse with, so you could hide whatever it is you need to hide without even knowing why. I lost my virginity to you, even though my dad would disown me if he ever found out. I, I keep lying to everybody. I'm, I've had to sneak around with my family to see you. And all I want for you is to care. Just a little bit. Okay, no, no, what? Seriously, I do care. I do. I mean, but you said it yourself. You can't be together because of your family. Oh my god, now? Now you care about what I said when we first met. This coming from the guy who slept his way into my father's warehouse. Seriously, it's not like that, babe. It's not like that, really? Go to hell, sir. And since you care so much, you might care to know that I'm a little bit late. If you know what I mean. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Sarah! Sarah, come back here! Nobody really plays the piano since since your mother left the house. Dad, how long have you been there? Long enough to know that I've really missed your playing. Dad, we've been over this. You know why I don't come around here. I can't take all the drama. You don't have to. I love you and your sister both. But what about the she-devil? The she-devil? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, Rachel. Let's cut the crap. I don't understand. You wanted nothing to do with the business. Is it Alex? Is it the business? Personal or professional? You have been shoving this crap down our throats since we were kids. Girls, the business is all I have to offer you. Girls, we must safeguard this business like it's our own selves. Girls, this business is our legacy. Girls, your grandfather started this business when he had nothing. How can you, of all people, turn around and tell me to separate the personal from the professional? Everything about the business is personal to you, Dad. I've told you, I want nothing to do with it. It's the same business that drove Mom away. How much more personal can that get? Rachel, honey, I know you blame me for your mother leaving. I understand. But you got to know there were more issues. I don't blame you, but I do blame the business. 
It's the same business that brought that woman into your life. Alex? You're too harsh on Alex. You and your sister both. There's enough money to go around. Money. Money? Really, Dad? Money? You think this is about money? You don't know me at all. Just like you never tried to know Mom. Listen, Dad. I love you. I may not call as often as I should or come over here, but I do love you. Erin told me I should come over and check on you. She told me that Alex was at the office, so I used my key to get in. And I didn't know if you were resting or not, so I just came in and I was playing piano until you were up. Anyway, I should get going. But just be happy, okay? Be happy. Rachel, honey, please don't go. Let me take you to lunch. I can't. I really have to go. I have a lot of schoolwork right now. It's a really busy time. Who is she? Who? Your mother. She's good. I'll tell her you asked about her. Bye, Dad. People go by in every day, and I watch time slipping under their feet. 